Hello students of class 8. This is a new lesson of unit 3 section 1 advisory for Indians students in the United States. So here some advices are there for the Indian students are going to the USA for studies. So first thing uh, that is there uh, to be taken care of by the Indian students going over there is to be well informed is to be well informed about that and the next point speak clearly these two points I would like to include here and you can see in the second slide uh, that speak clearly complete part is not there so I will be telling the summary of these two points be well informed and speak clearly so what is being told here I would like to say to you studying abroad can be frightening as it is exciting it can be exciting as well as frightening however there is no reason why Indian students in the United States should be lonely and homesick there is no reason that the Indian students should be homesick or they should feel lonely. Some of these tips will help make your experience as a foreign student a pleasant one. So to make your experience of uh, a foreign student a pleasant one, you have to follow the steps. Be well informed, the first point. Be aware of the histories of the various ethnic groups of people uh, and those ethnic, ethnic groups are Native Americans, African Americans, Hispanics, Hispanics meaning is given relating to Spain or Spanish speaking countries, Asian Americans and so on. These are the ethnic groups in the, that a student from India are going to find in the USA residing in the United States. This will help you get a better understanding of the now we will have to move on to the next slide. So let's go there. So diversity of the country you are going to be living in for the next few years. It will also sensitize you to the struggles of these groups. Now your knowledge will be broadened by knowing the diversity of the country, knowing about the ethnic groups there. So your knowledge will be increased and that knowledge is going to help you there. And uh, you should also, it will also uh, make you aware of the struggles of these ethnic groups. So that is going to help you. And then the next point is speak clearly. There it is mentioned that in your interactions with people there in that country, be sure to speak slowly and clearly. It is use, it is necessary that you speak slowly and clearly. Slowly, why to understand what the other person is telling you, and uh, after understanding it well, say whatever you want to say very very clearly. Be confident. Uh, the, Confidence is required. Speak in your own voice and avoid putting on an American accent. American have uh, speaking uh, using a particular accent that you avoid doing there, uh, as that will only make it more difficult for others to understand your speech. Similarly, if you have trouble following what others are telling you, politely ask them to repeat themselves. So these are the things. That these are the tactics that you have to follow there while interacting with others in the USA. So these two points I have summarized here in this presentation. I will come up with the next uh, advisories. So till then, goodbye. Thank you.